What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you read the title and thumbnail, we have a lot to talk about. So first off, I need to show you an update on my Slamo Pears Erminia that you know I paired a few months back in September. So yeah, let's have a look at her. So I don't know how well you can see this, but that white patch there, she's just got her leg over it. That is an egg sack. So yeah, that was laid yesterday, which was the 16th of December. Um, so yeah, I'll be pulling that in a minimum of 23 days. So let's see if we can get a top view. Okay, so I guess we're not going to get a top view as she has webbed it up fully. You can just see her leg there and a little bit of the sack. But I am so happy with this. You don't understand, guys. I've been it's my first pairing attempt too. So next we'll have an update on the OBT. Hey guys, so you may re recognise this the OBT from the OBT pairing video. Thanks once again to Maurice over at Arachnophilia for this beautiful girl. But yeah, as you can see she is getting really chunky. So I'm hoping she lays an egg sack soon. But she's absolutely stunning. As you know, I absolutely love the OBTs, hence why I've got five of them. But they are absolutely awesome, and I can't wait to get more into this species. Absolutely awesome to keep. I've only got red colour form at the moment. Drop it in the comments what colour forms you've got. But yeah, look at her. She's absolutely stunning. She is slightly more shy at the moment. Generally, she's not out and about, but she's awesome. And finally, on to probably the coolest update yet regarding Scolopendra Dahani. So yeah, let's get into the it. Next new, the next update that I was going to show, talk to you about is regarding my centipede Scolopendra Dahani. Um, Vietnamese giant centipede is the locality and yeah, so basically yesterday I sexed it. You can sex them multiple different ways, most of them either require a molt or knocking them out. But the thing is with molts is you've got to give it back to them because they have to eat their molts from what I've seen. But yeah, so I knocked it out. I'll put a method to how I did it in the comments or in the, um, or in the description as well. But basically, you knock them out and then you make sh make sure they're fully knocked out as well because sometimes they'll fake being out. And then you get the back two plates. Uh, you put it on its back and then you get the back two plates of the body and you press down on them. Something will pop out uh, the genitals. If they've got spikes, they are a male. If it's smooth, it's a female. I'll show you what I mean by when I show you uh, video of mine now. Um, mine is a female and I'll put some pictures as well in there. So yeah, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.